What's going on, everybody? My name is Ron. I'm with Angela's Brand, and today we're gonna flip these kicks into your favorite LA basketball team. The shoes come from the factory that have a protective ceiling over it, so we're going to use the leather prepare and the glazer to get rid of that ceiling. We're going to start off by putting in the shoe trees to help keep the shape of the shoe, and that also pops out any creases on the toe box so that we can make sure to get that area prepped properly. When prepping the shoe, you don't want to use too much pressure. You just want to wipe over it a little bit. Make sure to get every spot on the shoe that you're going to paint. Pay special close attention to the high crease areas, such as the toe box and the ankle collar. Those are the areas that are high wear, so they have the most probability of cracking or chipping if you don't prep them right. And you'll know that you're doing a good job prepping the shoe when the texture of the shoe changes. When they have the factory ceiling on there, it feels kind of smooth. But once you take that off, it has like a sticky, rubbery feel. And that's what you want. Okay, now that we're done with the leather prepare and glazer, an extra step I like to take is using some sandpaper and hitting these high crease areas, like I said, on the toe box and on the echo collar. So a little extra step I like to take just to ensure extra durability. It gives the paint something to grab onto. All right, now that we're done with the sanding, we're gonna go over it again with the leather preparing the glazer just to get any debris off of there that could came from the leather. Just a quick couple wipes down. That's all we need. By taking your shoes, you wanna make sure to get as close to the edge as possible. Try not to overlap it into the leather, but if you do, you can always touch the plater. Now that we've got these all taped off, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the flat black. What I like to do to ensure I'm getting light coats is put a couple spots around the shoe. And what that does is help me stretch out the paint and make sure I'm not getting globs of paint everywhere. When you're painting, you wanna make sure to use even light coats. Nice and even back and forth motions. On a shoe like this, you wanna make sure to get into all the tight details. So, if you have a lot of overlays, you wanna make sure to try to lift the leather up to get underneath it. Okay, now we got the first coat done. As you guys see, it's very spotty, a lot of streaks. The color's not fully saturated, but that's what you want. You wanna build up your layers to make sure you have a durable, wearable shoe. Now that we got the flat black all laid down, we're gonna get into some do the right thing yellow. Now that we lay down five coats of the Do The Right Thing Yellow, we're gonna add duller to our last one to two coats. What duller does is it gives it a gloss so it makes the shoe look nice and factory, like the flat black. Now the reason I put the duller in the last one to two coats is because I feel like the duller actually makes the paint more brittle. So I'd rather have my first base coats to be straight paint so that they're more flexible and as durable as possible. So you want to use your duller coats almost like a finish so that the top final coats are nice and flat. Now that we're done with this side, we're going to go ahead and get into the other side and I'm going to do red, but to lessen my coats, I'm going to use hot pink. The red paint seems to be kind of transparent, so if I do a base coat of the hot pink, 
it helps cut down on the total number of coats. Now that we laid down the two coats of the hot pink, we're gonna use chili red. All right, so we laid down three coats of the chili red, and now I'm gonna do one more coat of the duller. Mix with the chili red. Now that we got the heel and the tongues painted, we're gonna work on the, the netting. So to do that, we're gonna use our flat black and too hard. When mixing flat black and too hard, you're gonna wanna try to do a 50-50 ratio. So now that we got the netting all painted, we're gonna work on this tongue patch here. Because it's fabric, we're gonna use too soft. After we're done with the too soft and the paint ratio, we want to heat set it for about three to five minutes with the heat gun. Now that we're pretty much wrapped up with the shoe, the last step is to just detail it. You see around all these panels here, we have those raw white edges. We want to get rid of those with the same color as the leather. So we're going to use a detail brush and go straight at it. And these final touch-ups and details to the shoe can make or break a custom. You want your shoes to look factory, but they could have came straight at the store. And so these little details right here, these minor touch-ups, it would separate the, a basic custom from a great custom. Now that we got the tape taken off and cleaned up all the edges, you can call it done. But I decided to do a little bit more work off camera by going ahead and blacking out the midsole and the eyelets. I also added a stencil to the toe box in the red area just to give it a little extra pop. If you guys are looking for more of my work, follow me on Instagram at ron underscore got underscore soul. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube as well. Let us know which side you like better, the red and blue or purple and gold. See you guys next time. Peace.